Hi everyone, welcome to this short tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can use a passphrase with Passport and Envoy. A passphrase is a fantastic way to add an extra layer of security to your Bitcoin. A passphrase is an extra word, words or phrase that is added to your 12 or 24 word seed to create a completely new wallet. If you were to protect your Bitcoin wallet with a passphrase, that would mean that an attacker now needs to compromise two pieces of information to get their hands on your Bitcoin. That would be your seed word backup, which might be stamped into metal or written down on paper, and then it would also need your passphrase. It's important to note that if you're going to use a passphrase, you must store this completely separately from your seed words. Using different passphrases is also a great way of being able to segregate your Bitcoin that is all backed by the same seed words. But remember, in the event of a recovery, you need both your seed words and your passphrase to access your Bitcoin. Lose any one of these and you lose access to your Bitcoin. To apply a passphrase within Passport is super simple and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now. So as you can see over on Envoy, we've already got our Passport set up with our 24 word seed and we've paired a couple of accounts across as well. But now I've decided that I want to create a passphrase protected wallet to segregate off some of my Bitcoin so that I can benefit from the extra security that the passphrase grants me. So the first step over on Passport is I'm going to head over to the far right hand menu and I'm going to choose enter passphrase. Now, all I need to do is enter my desired passphrase. I'm going to keep it nice and simple for the purposes of this video. But as I alluded to before, your passphrase can be as short, long or as complex as you'd like. Just be sure to back it up securely and safely. I'm going to press the tick to apply it. and our passphrase is now applied to the device. You can be sure that the passphrase has been applied to Passport by the small p in the top left corner of each account card. So now that we have our passphrase applied to Passport, the next step is to just pair any accounts to our software wallet, which of course in this case is gonna be Envoy. So I'm going to pair the primary account of my passphrase wallet to Envoy. So I'm going to head to manage account, connect wallet, I'm going to choose Envoy. Passport's then showing some animated QR codes. And over on Envoy, within the accounts page, I'm going to tap the plus, follow the instructions, scan the QR code, and then I'm going to validate a receive address. And there we go, address has been validated on Passport and the connection is complete. And as you can see over on Envoy now, we do have our additional primary account. So just to be on the safe side, because I have two account zeros now, the top one being my non-passphrase protected wallet and the bottom one being from my passphrase one, what I can do is tap on the account and just rename it so that I can be sure that I'm be able to distinguish between both of them. Just like that. So there are two ways, once you've applied a passphrase to Passport, that you can clear it so that you can interact with the non-passphrase protected wallet. The first way is to power cycle a device. As soon as you turn the device off and turn it back on again, the passphrase is wiped from the memory and you'll need to reapply again. The passphrase is never saved on the device permanently and it's never saved in any of the backups created onto the micro SD card either. The second way to get rid of the passphrase once it's applied without power, power cycling the device is to go back to the enter passphrase menu 
and just enter a blank passphrase. And Passport will then say, would you like to clear the active passphrase? And that's been cleared. If we head back to the account card, you can see that the small p denoting that the passphrase is applied has now gone. Finally, it's worth noting that if you do have multiple accounts paired with a software wallet that are not protected by a passphrase and you then subsequently add a passphrase to the wallet, you will need to subsequently pair all of those accounts over again because they are essentially brand new empty wallets. And of course, you can apply as many different passphrases as you want to Passport so that you can essentially create an absolutely unlimited amount of wallets. As I touched on earlier, it's just crucial that you back each and every passphrase up. Failure to do so will mean that you cannot access any of the Bitcoin that is within that specific passphrase protected wallet.